Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,384. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1,384 start or the finished file or any of the source files so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got to talk about an important topic in Power Query and Power BI desktop, and that is should we import an Excel table object or just the sheet? Now, I have two source files that we're going to import. This file right here, source data sheet, you can see we have a proper data set, but it is not an Excel table. It's just sitting on the sheet named data. In the source data table file, we have the exact same data set, but now it's been converted to an Excel table. We clicked inside the table and then used Insert Table or Control-T, and we named this table. Now I'm going to close both of these files, and we're going to import them. Now I'm in Excel 2016, so on the Data Ribbon tab, the Get and Transform has everything for Power Query. If you're in Excel 2010 or 13, you actually have to download it and install it as a separate tab. All right, whether you're in Power BI or Power Query, we start a new query from file from Excel Workbook. I'm going to start first with the source data sheet, so I'll double click that. The navigator will open. I'm going to select the entire sheet. We can see a preview. Click Edit. Here's the Power Query Editor. I'm going to come over and rename this Data from Sheet and Enter. These steps are fine. We can see we have two columns. I want to close and load two. For this example, we're going to load it as a table on the existing sheet. Over in Power BI Desktop, you just send it to the data model. And you could certainly send it to the data model here. I'm going to load it to the sheet. There's the data from the Excel sheet. There's our query. Let's go get the second data set, data, new query from file from Excel Workbook. Here's the source data table. Double click to open. I'm going to select that table icon, that blue line at the top says, hey, this is an Excel table. There's our sample and click Edit. I'm going to name this from Excel table and Enter. There's our steps. The two columns in our table, close and load to table. I do not want it in that range, so I'm going to say existing sheet collapse, select D3, click OK and then click Load. So there is the data from the Excel table object. Hey, both of them look exactly the same. I'm going to Control S, and then we're going to open those other two files. I'm going to start with the Excel table object, and I'm going to come down below, maybe something like cell B10 and type 45 and Enter. Control S, close it. I'm going to do the same thing over on the sheet with the table, 45, Enter. Control S, Alt F4 to close. Now we're over here, and we want to refresh both of these. Data, Refresh All, or we can use the keyboard, Control-Alt-F5. And there's the problem. With just a sheet, it's going to try to import all the stuff it finds on the sheet. But with the table object, it's looking just at the table. Much more robust to use an Excel table. Now, we can't always use an Excel table. And I actually have done plenty of videos where we imported many sheets from many different workbooks. But you just have to be careful. That can happen. All right, that's a little bit about importing either an Excel table or a sheet. We'll see you next video.